Hello world! Welcome to the second Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Today I want to briefly go over three different ways that you can output text onto your screen. Uh, we'll be using JS Fiddle for this exercise, so you can either go to this JS Fiddle URL and fork the exercise, or create a brand new fiddle and follow along. Uh, it's pretty easy what we're doing today. Uh, but I'll link to this fiddle in the description below. Don't worry too much about the JavaScript functions I'll be writing. You can read more about them at the Mozilla Developer Network website. And I will cover each of these three functions many times over the course of the series where you will get a much better understanding of what each of these functions do and when you should use them. But for now, let's see the three ways that you can say hello world. Do you remember uh, the tutorial I did a little while ago about the developer tools and the element inspector where I briefly went over the JavaScript console? Well, now I'm going to show you how you can actually write messages to the JavaScript console. Uh, this first comment block here just says use console.log to write to the console. It's pretty simple, right? So the syntax goes console.log parentheses and in quotes it can be single quotes or double quotes and you type whatever you want to output into the console here. So we'll just do hello world. Remember to close everything and end with a semicolon uh, just like basic programming syntax. And let's update and run. Where did it go? It's in the console. So you can open up the cons developer tools by clicking on, right clicking anywhere on the page, clicking on inspect, or by doing control shift I in Chrome, same thing in Firefox, I think it's control shift Q in Firefox, and here it is in the console. I'm just going to click on the console tab here to open up the console in a bigger view, and there we go, hello world. If I keep running it, it'll just keep typing in hello world. That's one way to do it. Console log is a very good way to debug code to make sure that your variables are changing shape, change, getting the values that you want it to get. Uh, we'll cover more that more in depth later on. Now let's go over the second way you can output text onto your screen, the alert function. I'm sure you've seen this uh, everywhere if you've ever seen any JavaScript tutorial where people use alert to just do a little pop-up, confirmation pop-up uh, onto the screen. So let's just do alert. The syntax is in the comment. It says use alert to write to the Windows alert box. And parentheses, quotes. Again, it can be single quotes. We'll do hello world. Comma. So if I update and run now. So the first line, the console log ran, and I got one more hello world. And I also got this little uh, this little confirmation pop-up where it says an embed page at fiddle.jsshell.net says hello world. That's okay. If I click run again, and it comes up again. So this is the alert window. So this is another good way to make sure uh, to debug your variables, make sure things are happening. Uh, personally, I prefer console log because everything is here. You can save, you can preserve the log, and go back to what you're looking at. Now let's look at the third way. Uh, the third way and the most, uh, this is the way that you would probably want to display data to your users onto the screen. Uh, this is actually, this is pretty much just writing something onto the screen. Uh, let's say that everything here is in an HTML page and you want to output hello world somewhere on this page. How do you do it? You, you don't want users to have to go into uh, the console, the JavaScript console to see the message. You don't, you definitely don't want to keep popping up messages in alert windows. It could annoy them. Uh, so let's just quickly do this. Uh, we'll be using, we'll be getting an element from the HTML here. I created a blank div statement here, uh, div tag with an ID welcome. So we'll be using the document dot get element by ID, which is welcome, dot inner text equals hello world. So let me quickly explain what this is. So document is the entire document object here. Uh, get element by ID is a property, uh, is a built-in property and a method of, of uh, JavaScript that lets you grab an entire node. In this case we're getting everything in the welcome ID here or that div node. Inner text is something called a non-standard property that represents text content in a node. So we're getting the text from within welcome, which is nothing, which is blank, and then overriding it with hello world. So if I update and run now, I'm just going to clear this console, run. 
So two things happen. The first thing happened is the console log. The second thing is the alert. As soon as I press OK, Hello World pop up. So you saw the little delay, right? Do you know why? If you guessed it's because of the alert window, you're correct. Uh, the script paused, paused at this line here, uh, waiting for me to click on OK. So if I click Run again, see Hello World disappeared because this line has not run yet until I press OK, and there you go, Hello World. Easy, right? And you can change it. Hello World. Easy, right? Well, there you go. Three different ways you can output something onto your screen using console log, alert, and inner text. Inner HTML is also a great way to do it, but we will cover that later on. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. And remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. If you want me to cover a specific topic, please let me know. I'm more than happy to do so. Thanks for watching.